As in previous years, large crowds gathered in Tishu Varos, Hungary for the latest ITU World Cup event over the sprint distance. 30 men were in the final after semi-final victories on Friday and they got off to a clean start in the non-wetsuit swim. With plenty of strong swimmers in the field, including Russian brothers Dmitry and Igor Polyansky and Slovakia's Richard Varga, there was likely to be a fast time set and avoiding trouble around the swim boys became a key factor. The field did start to get stretched as the 750 metres wore on and it was Varga that exited the water in first place, closely followed by Igor Polyansky but the lead was negligible as they headed for transition for the first time. Varga has won two Aquathon gold medals so far this year, but could he back up another good swim with a strong 20-kilometer bike as he looked for his first ever ITU World Cup podium finish? A group of six were first out onto the course as the chasers started to appear in transition, 15 seconds behind. Could the leaders work together to increase the lead ahead of the leg run? Hungary's Akos Vanyak had extra incentive to do well in front of his home crowd and better the silver medal earned by his sister Margit in the women's race. As the six in the lead group rounded the 180 degree turn, they had a visual on the chase pack as they passed them on the straight. And urged on by the large crowds lining the streets, they continued to press to build a healthy lead. It was Frenchman Simon Vayane tasked with the job of driving the chase pack in a bid to cut the deficit and working as a team, they managed to bridge up in the final stages. The atmosphere was building among the crowds as the leaders approached transition. And with Luxembourg's Bob Haller recording the fastest bike split, a large pack set out on the five kilometer run. First to set the pace was Hungary's Gabor Faldum, who opened up an early lead. But with another Hungarian, Vanyek, in the group behind, he would have his work cut out to stay in front. In the early evening sunshine, the runners were getting plenty of encouragement from the locals lining the route. Italy's Alessandro Fabian took up the running as the field started to stretch out. As the race wore on, the pace increased, and home favourites Vanek and Falda worked as a team to hit the front. Vanek it was that had the greater turn of pace over the final few hundred metres. And he was able to hold off the challenge of those behind to come in first in a fine sprint finish to take his first World Cup gold medal. He finished just ahead of ITU athlete Rostislav Pavetsov, and Falda made it a podium double for Hungary. The rest of the field weren't far behind, but the weekend belonged to the Vanek, Smargit and Akos, who clinched silver and gold, respectively. You know, this is Tiso Ivaros World Cup. This is my home country, Hungary. So it's always a pleasure to racing here, because the atmosphere is great. And now I just won my first World Cup, and I'm so happy. I like this race. I compete here every year, and uh, I'm very happy. We'll be here. <laughs> oh, it was amazing. Uh, the uh, racing at home, it was uh, the best thing what uh, happened ever <laughs> in, my, in my life.